Hello, my crafty friends. Hope you are all well. It is um, Wednesday. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. And I thought that I would do my annual um, last haul for the year, I guess. It's a sizable haul, so it might be two videos. Um, but one of the things that I got most recently was actually a couple months back, but I still consider this part of my haul because I haven't really played with it too much. Um, but it is a swing line laser guillotine cutter that I got. And it is um, wood. And it has a laser light on it. And I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you can see, if I try to, I don't know if that's showing up, it's right there. It goes all the way down, but um, I just wanted to show you guys that I got that. That's to help when, um, it'll come in handy when the power's out. <laughs> um, I have lots of battery operated lights in here. On purpose because we live way out in the country and uh, that cut wasn't very straight but I didn't line it up um, but we live way out in the country and uh, oh, there it goes and so I have to have lots of battery lights in fact I have one coming that was supposed to be a Christmas gift husband actually did buy the lamp um, in fact, it's the one that I got Chila, um, but the one he accidentally purchased was the one you have to plug in, and that's not the one I wanted. So <laughs> that'll be, should be here probably tomorrow or Monday, whichever comes first. So I'm going to bring in some of the other stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first order I'm going to show is actually uh, Jaded Blossom. Now Jaded Blossom is still relatively a new company to me. I've ordered from them, I think I started last year after my dear sweet Jill Norwood, <laughs> one of my largest enablers, uh, mentioned them and she showed a stamp set and ever since then I've been hooked. Um, but I don't uh, order very often, um, but I love uh, their company and I love their little stamp. I don't know if you guys are getting it. Their bags are blue, by the way, my favorite color. This is like right up my alley. But it says, caution opening may cause uncontroll uncontrollable screaming, <laughs> which I think is hysterical. I just love that. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, crafty goodness does make us happy, right? So, adjust the lighting a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see this. There's going to be some shadows, but I think it just goes a little easier. So the first one is a stamp set, and it's called Raiden Deer Blend. Sorry for the glare caused by the packaging. And it's got a Santa mug... You guys can see it there. And a little reindeer mug is super cute. And there's some sentiments, and I'll let you guys um, check those out if you want to pause it. So that's the first one. The second one is this one, which is Kawaii Gingerbread. And this is just adorable. It comes with uh, boy and girl in two different sizes the lollipops, the gumdrops, which are adorbs. I happen to love gumdrops. And then it comes with all these faces, which I thought would be really cute for next year doing any gingerbread. You know, I can use those on anything. So here they are. Super cute. I am now addicted to gingerbread. Thank you, Jill. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where's a wet noodle? <laughs> and then this one is called Cozy Vibes. And, of course, it's a snowman mug, which I got one that looks very similar to this from Target this year. It's so stinking cute. And then a little penguin, <laughs> as my daughter calls them. Just a 
joking. It's a penguin. Um, and I love this one. It says winter means double the coffee. Uh huh. <laughs> so true. And then this one is oh so stinking cute. It's large gingerbread man. Look at that face. And this is a very sizable stamp, you guys. This would go over the whole front of an A2, I do believe, just about. And then this one is Gingerbread Baking Company. So it's all about baking. A couple little gingerbread sets and some candy. They have one of these dies, and I'm waiting for it to come back in stock because I really want that die. A little sugar for the sweetest friend. Just super cute. I love their images. And then I did pick up the gingerbread stencil, which I thought would be really cute for a background. If I didn't have paper that was gingerbread themed or something along that line. And then the last item is a build a Christmas tree die. And this one is really cute because it comes with the snow and the ornaments and the lights. So I think it's, and that's what it looks like. So super cute and it's got the stitching detail which you guys know I love because I sew. So that is from Jada Blossom. And then the last thing I'm going to show now is the Ultimate Rinse Cup. This actually came from Amazon. I bought it for my painting. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, oh, yes, I guess I did. So it comes like this. I've seen this on um, uh, Lindsay the Frugal, Frugal Crafter, I do believe. And so basically it's a cylinder with a top and a bottom. And you put this in the bottom. It's silicone. So it'll, nothing will stick to it like glue or anything like that. And so it's got like the little tray that you could um, use for a painter's palette if you wanted to. And then it's got the top, which goes on like this. And then what you can do is you can put your paint brushes um, to dry on this. Am I getting it on wrong? No, I'm doing it right, I think. <laughs> I'm having to look at the packaging. My fingers are not cooperating very well today. Oh, dear. It goes like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is tough for me, you guys. Bear with me for a minute. There. So you can put your paintbrushes in here um, so they're not in the water, and then you can leave them out here to dry. They have different sizes. So that's what it looks like, and I am thrilled with this. Of course, I got the blue because, you know, um, it's not as cute as my current container, which is like a croc type of, um, it's actually a vase from Goodwill, and it was for flowers, but it has a really rough bottom, which is nice. Um, to rinse out like really bad stuff um, like textile medium and stuff like that it's easy to, to rinse out because there's a little bit of grit on the bottom which is what this has too so yep so that is a part one of my year-end haul and I will be back with part two thanks everybody for watching and I hope you make a happy memory bye